What's up you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. I am not the single guy, but it's not the full story and I have a question. Hey Lloyd, I have been hanging out with this girl for a long time and we have grown really close. She is definitely my best friend, but I have started to develop feelings for her. I want to tell her how I feel, but I don't want to upset the friendship. I have a feeling she does not reciprocate my feelings and at the end of the day, I don't want um, at the end of the day, I want to at least keep her as a friend. What should I do? Okay. So, unfortunately for this guy, I, I got some harsh truths that I'm about to uh, dish out for him. Um, look, man, I know you think that this person is like your best friend, but the fact, it's, it's, and it's not surprising that you develop feelings for her. My guess is you're probably a young kid. You're probably a kid who maybe you grew up with this person. Maybe you started out as a friend. She was like hanging out with you. Um, but my guess is you probably always kind of liked her. You probably always kind of had romantic feelings for her. All right. Now the way this friendship has gone, she, you're probably right. She probably doesn't reciprocate the feelings for you. Am I 100% certain? I don't know. I've never been in that situation with you. There's some times where I've recommended a client of mine. Yeah, I do. Dude, you gotta like go tell her how you feel and put yourself out there. And sometimes it's worked, but most of the time it hasn't. That's why you've been a friend for so long because you know that the friend is the best thing that you can get with this girl, okay? But you want more. You want to not just be a friend. You wanna be a romantic interest. You wanna get physical. You probably wanna have sex or kiss this person, okay? If you are in this position, dude, hanging around as a friend is probably the worst thing that you can do, okay? Basically, you're torturing yourself every day. She's going to start dating other guys. She's going to start hanging around other people. And you're going to see that constantly. Okay? I know you think you have a big connection with this person. But that's just because she's like an achievable thing that you can get. I know because I've been there, bro. I've been in that position where you like, this is the most important person in your life. And at least if I have her close to me, that's, that's better than not having her. No, it's not. I'm going to tell you right now that what you probably should do is you probably should tell her how you feel. You probably should be a man about it. I remember when I was stuck in the friend zone, I was stuck in the friend zone for like a year, dude, with this girl. And I told her how I felt. I told her how I felt. I was a man about it. I wrote it, I wrote it down. I practiced in the mirror. <laughs> Very funny. Um, I was like, hey, listen, you know, I, I know we've been hanging out for a while, but I think you're really pretty. I think you're really smart. I think you're an awesome girl. And like, I'd love to take you out. It was something like that. Okay. Probably a little longer. I thought about this girl every single day. I was so head over heels, stab yourself in the face in love with this girl, or I thought I was, but you know, young love, like, your emotions are high and you know, you, you tend to blow everything up because it's the first time it's ever happened to you. Uh, but when you get older, you don't really fall into those traps anymore. So for this, she actually agreed to go out with me. I could not believe it. So we went out one time and then she got back together with her ex-boyfriend. And so at that point, I had a decision to make because she still wanted to be friends with me. She still wanted me in her life. I had to make a decision. Do I still stay friends with this person who I know it's not going to work out with, who I know I'm just going to be, every time I hung out with her, it was painful because I would pine and I would hope and I would want for something more with her and I wasn't going to get it. You have to be smart and eliminate your emotions and take the logical step. And the logical step is step away from the thing that is causing you pain. Yes, you are going to hurt more in the short term. It is going to be a painful process in that short term. But if you want to find happiness, you're not going to find it here. This is a losing battle that you are going to make yourself crazier and crazier about every single time that you spend time with her, every single time that you reach out. You fooled yourself into believing that just keeping the friendship is enough for you. This is not a real friend who stands up for you and is going to make you happy. Do the best thing for your life. Put yourself first, homie. You're not putting yourself first with this. So yes, I would recommend that you tell her your feelings, but you know, if it doesn't work out, that's okay. It's okay to hurt. It's okay to feel betrayed. You've spent a lot of time and effort into this one person that's not giving anything back to you. My guess is, and this is what I've seen consistently for people caught in the friend zone, is you come at it from a friend standpoint. Women are not looking for a friend when they're looking for a boyfriend. They are looking for a guy who they desire, who they can follow, who, they, who can lead them, who is on a path, okay? She's not gonna tell you this. 
She's going to say, oh, it's all about connection or, or whatever she's, you know, been told or, you know, whatever she thinks about. But that's not, that's not who she's going to go for, you know? And you're fighting a losing battle right now. So I know there's tons of guys in this position who was like, oh, I should still be friends with, you know, and sometimes being friends with your ex works. It really depends on the situation. But I'd say in general, if you have strong feelings for somebody, if you have this strong burning desire to be with somebody and you think being a friend is better than being nothing, you're wrong. Being nothing is better than that because that gives you the option to meet somebody else who is going to desire you too. Right now, all your time, effort, and energy towards uh, towards a female is being dedicated to this person who ain't going to give it back to you. That is a losing battle. That's putting your money in a stock that you know is going to dip and is going to keep going going lower the more you have it in. Why would you continue to do that? Just because you like the stock and you think that stock's special? No, pull your money out and put your money in somewhere else. Or put your money in a variety of stocks and see which one goes up. <laughs> that'd, be my, that'd be my best recommendation for you. So no, dude, you, sh you, no, like, you should not be friends with her in this case. Yes, men and women can be friends. Yes, men and women can break up and be friends, but only in certain circumstances, only when they're, they don't have these burning feelings. If a woman's watching this and you're friends with a guy um, and you want to get with him and he don't want it, I don't think you should be friends with him. I don't think you should be waiting around for him to like finally decide, and oh, I've made a mistake this whole time. That shit only happens in the movies, dude. And those are sad movies, <laughs> okay? They usually spend a year and a half with this person when they could have been having fun and then eventually, you know, you guys will run into each other at some point and decide if you're the best fit for each other. That's how it works out. It doesn't happen the other way. And in fact, even if your sole goal is to get this girl, the longer you hang around her and hope that she's going to make realize she made a mistake, the more you're proving to her that you're not the right guy for her. Because a self-serving guy, a confident guy who believes in himself wouldn't do that shit. He would go off and do the thing that's best for him. And that's the guy that she's going to pick. So, no. Uh, yeah, I think you should get out of this as quickly as possible. Pretty much beat this dead horse long enough. So, sorry you're going through this, buddy. But look, man, at some point in time, I'd say a lot of guys go through this. And so, it's a learning process for you. And uh, good luck to you, man. Thanks for watching, you guys. Good luck out there.